This is a quick tutorial on inheritance in databases, specifically in PSQL. We're going to make an example here. We're going to have a table musician, which has attributes, ID name, citizenship, in band and favorite style. It references another table country in the attribute citizenship. And then we're going to inherit from musician in the table guitarist, which is simply going to add two more attributes, maximum picking speed and the guitar of choice attribute. Okay, so I'm in PG admin here. First, we're going to create country. Then we're going to create musician with the standard syntax. Then we're going to create the table guitarist, which inherits from musician. Syntax is just simply put inherits and then the field at the table you want to inherit from at the end. Okay, then we're going to populate the country table with a few examples. Then we're going to populate the musician table with two examples. Then an example into guitarist. And then what we can do, we can select all from musician and you will see that we will get all the instances in the table musician and guitarist. So the three things we added right here. We can also do just extract only the stuff from the musician table. We just put the only word in front of the table name. Then we get only the two we added into musician. Or we can simply just select the ones we added into the guitarist table, which is the sub table. Okay, so far so good. So let's evaluate a little bit what's nice and what's not so nice about this inheritance setup. Okay, the nice stuff first. So obviously it's easy to query instead of having to union all the related tables. So if we wouldn't have uh, inheritance in this case, we would do something like select all from musician, union select all from guitarist. Another nice thing is that column changes in a super table will trickle down to the subtables. Be aware that these are simple changes and there are special rules for constraints, which we'll see on the downsides later. So for example, we want to change the field citizenship in the musician table to country. We're going to execute that successfully and now the renaming will trickle down to the subtable guitarist. So first we can see the change here in musician only. So it's country now and we don't have to do the same thing for the subtable guitarist. It's already changed here automatically. Okay, to the downsides now. First, there's no way to ensure constraints across tables. They won't trickle down to subtables either. So let's try to enforce a unique name constraint in the musician table. We can add the constraint easily on the musician table and we will also correctly throw the exception if you want to insert a duplicate into the musician table. Like here, it says it already exists. But the problem is our guitarist table doesn't inherit the constraint on name, so here we can still insert another instance of the fire pick guy. And that works fine, even though we don't want it to. And even if we add manually another unique constraint to the guitarist table, so, so that we ensure that we can't uh, insert another duplicate into the guitarist table, we can't ensure that we still only have one single name across the two tables, musician and guitarist. So it will always be able to have two names in the musician table. Second, references don't trickle down to subtables either. So a simple fix is only to add references to all the subtable subtables, which is annoying and quite time consuming if you have lots of subtables. So here an example, the following is going to fail because 
PT, the short name for Portugal, does not exist in the country table. So that's a foreign key constraint. Okay, works fine. So we need to have Portugal in our country table for that to be possible. But in the subtable guitarist, we can insert values like that because we don't inherit uh, the reference constraint. So we can still see that here. And the last thing we need to be aware of is that being referenced does not apply for subtables. So if we create another table band, which has a name and four possible band members, which references musicians, we can insert into the band member attributes only values of type musician. And it's not possible to add guitarists, for example. And we'll see that here. If I try to create a band, the drummers with the bongo man and the drummer boy, that works. But then if I want to create a band, lick and bongo with the two drummers, bongo man and drummer boy, plus a guitar player fire pick, that doesn't work. Because we can only reference a musician. So it doesn't work like in object-oriented programming where you can reference the supertype and then with dynamic binding the actual type will be evaluated at runtime. This doesn't work here in the database inheritance. So it's not perfect but we just need to be aware of those facts.